catched it. Down and 11. Five-man rush. Ponder slips it to the perimeter to face mask. But it's a first down to the 22. Here for Florida. That's 32 more tackles than the next highest guy on that defense. He is making plays all the time. Florida State best in the ACC on third down. This is third down and a long seven, close to eight. Here. This is in the secondary. Florida State wants to attack them up front. Slam. The second time, and Christian Ponyer better be careful throwing that ball in because Florida is reading those. Right. A nice catch by uh, Easterman. As far as the Knolls are concerned, if NC State beats Maryland, then Florida State is knocked out of the ACC championship game. The fewest giveaways in the SEC, number two in America, and fewest turnovers since 2005, since Urban in the turnover ratio. Yeah, and that tells the story better than any other stat that you can look at and you can toss them. If I'm the Gators, I'm coming after Christian Ponder in this situation. The leadership from Christian Ponder brings it. Do you think he's a dark horse quarterback at the next level? They're leading 14-3 into the first quarter. So NC State has the 14-0 lead over. I don't know. I, uh, I didn't see a hold there. In the series and certainly having won the last six in a row. Yeah, in Florida State, there's a lot of buzz in Tallahassee about maybe this is the year, the opportunity for Florida, certainly putting them behind the eight ball. Rainey just tried to make made a great move on the defensive back, Greg Reed, but didn't secure the football. Florida playing all three of their quarterbacks in the first half. They've turned it over a couple of times, although John Brantley was able to find Robert Clark for a touchdown to give. It's a big hit, and Jenna Jay is there as well. Urban Meyer feeling like coaches have beaten Florida in their first year. <laughs> Brandon Hicks made the stop after a gain of five. Well, now if you're Florida State and specifically Christian Ponder, and a great way to get that going is on, and that's the strength. And they've protected Christian Ponder this year, and Hudson is the undisputed leader. He's making his 46th career. Well, and it complements what Christian Ponder can do. You don't want him to be back there throwing the ball on every down. and. You see in their wins, they're averaging over 200 yards. Back in Tallahassee with the answer to our AFLAC trivia question, how many Florida State head coaches? We'll see if he's able to return for Florida. They're bringing pressure inside the cross dog blitz. And if you're Florida now, you're down 17-7, and Florida State has a second down inside your 30-yard line. You have got 7-3 lead not long ago for the Gators, but the Knowles have answered with 10 straight. Actually, five prior, it depends on the spot. It looks to be good enough for a first down by about a half a yard. It is. Organization and my offense together. He's got that spirit about him, that leadership quality. Reminds him a lot of Edgar. When the visitors arrived, they said they came in peace. Effective as the quarterback play has been for the Gators. Christian Ponder had a terrific first half. Wide open up the sideline was Willie Halstead, but he stumbled coming out of his break. A huge cushion. This offensive line starting to get their rhythm and starting to back to Thompson again. Three yards up the middle. Ahmad Black shaking up in the third down and seven. Jimbo Fisher was very aggressive with his play calling in the first half. Wide open, a first down pitch for Relaford. <laughs> to the sideline, Bert Reed lost it when he stepped out of bounds, but they will say that he had control inbounds. 
follows up the pass on first down, which puts you in a situation. Yeah. No, he's. He'll try to sneak it and get it on fourth down. Christian Ponder with the keeper, and he moves the chains. At about the 30-yard line, a 15-yard punt. Away from Gainesville to see a great in-state rivalry game between Florida and Florida State, but it's been dominated by the Knolls. So Ponder runs it. He gets popped. Lost about a half yard. A.J. Jones came up. Another Gator defensive back lost his footing, and that gave Smith the sideline and an easy first down. Chris Thompson up the middle for about a yard. How about the efficiency, though, of Christian Ponder? I mean, again, against the sideline is Burt Reed. About two yards shy of a first down. There has to be indisputable video evidence to overturn the call on the field. And Brian Greasy, we found it while we were away. And it is a Florida fumble and a Knowles And maybe that last gasp for Florida goes down right there. With different quarterbacks. All right, kid, third down 11. Get in there and show us what you got. And here comes the punt unit to Nevada. Wisconsin blows out Northwestern. Take over for Christian Ponder. May be able to expand this offense to include a little bit more of a mobility standpoint that he can filter in. Like defensive ends. It's confusing to me. As a senior class, and what an exclamation point that you put on your regular season if you're Jimbo Fisher in your first year taking over for Bobby Bowden. That is. State 31 to 17, early fourth quarter. If this score holds, Florida State advances to. Good job by Manuel to take the play clock off. Get bigger for the Gators. They rough the kicker. It's a personal foul, and now Florida can, uh, Florida State can simply take a knee. Brent Musburger and Kirk Herbstreet will be there. Coming up at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC. Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines. Some of you will.